I'm not a huge fan of the fact that I only have two swamps in this hand. Although I have a, a although I do have a lot of low costing cards and we haven't had a problem with land so far. I'll risk it. I'll risk it for the biscuit. We'll see how this goes. So I can play Cauldron Familiar first turn. I can also do Dream of Steel and Oil. Let's just see what you have in hand. What can I get rid of? <laughs> Ooh, what commander are you playing with? Okay, Panharmonicon is just kind of a bummer. Uh, let's get rid of Thassa. Thassa's going to be a pain. Especially with Panharmonicon, especially with Yarok. Um, let's go ahead, put out two. Cauldron Familiar. We have Drown and Acre, which gives a creature... Gives a creature minus four, minus four. A three, five. This is a two, one. Two, one. I'll just save it. Um, I'm having a blast with this deck. Absolutely. Um, we can sacrifice Cauldron. Sacrifice Cauldron to draw two cards. I'm going to do it for the lands. Because I don't think I'll be able to make it back if I miss a land drop. So there's our third land. And I draw the oven, which is what I need. What the heck? Uh, well... All I need to do is put one more creature on the board. Yeah, all I need to do is put one more creature on the board and then I can bring him back. Um, can't do anything else, so let's go ahead and draw the two extra cards. And, well, there's, there's my creature. There is my creature. So I'm assuming all I need is Witch's Oven, Cauldron Familiar, and every time it enters the battlefield, they'll lose a life, I'll gain a life. So maybe, maybe... I'm looking at this right. They are playing with blue, so they could have counters. However, I can only see one card. I can only, I can see all but one card. Play. And they'll be all tapped out. Oh, but you know what? I don't have a way to untap Witch's Oven. Well, dang. Note that you can activate Witch's Oven at instant speed. Ooh, thank you for the heads up, Bobby. Because I did not know that. Let's go ahead. You know what? Let's get Obliterator out right now. Because imagine get them to sacrifice land. I feel like ha using him to block a 2-1 with Death Touch is probably not the most efficient way of using him. But it would put them at a significant land disadvantage. So that would be okay. I think they get to choose, right? Yeah. They choose which ones they sacrifice. Okay. All three cards in return. Walker. We can bring back Cauldron Familiar. Let's throw this out as the land. And we can go ahead and throw out Vraska now if we want to. Same with activating Cat from Graveyard. Okay. This is super good to know. Um, the fray, each opponent loses two life and gain a life. Uh, I can also give Meyer Triton minus four, minus four, but I don't have anything to proliferate. Four, five. Let's go ahead and get Rasta on the board right now. Um, let's see. Um, also get rid of my Triton. Do I swing with Pyrexian Obliterator? Oh, what do I do? Let's let's go ahead. Let's just let's just proliferate. Let's try to keep her off the board. That's the land that I needed. Oh, hold that! I freaking spent that land. I done goofed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wanted to get Rothka out. Um, then they'd have to sack five permanents. I think it's whenever a source deals damage to a Phyrexian Obliterator, that source's controller sacrifices that many permanents 
So if I use this to block Meyer Triton, because Meyer Triton is only doing two damage to Fire Extinct Obliterator, they only have to sacrifice two permanents. That's how I understand the card. Also, part of me, I'm gonna like the window real quick. Um, let's throw out another swamp. I made a mistake. That is not bad. Um, let's see. I do want to get rid of. I do really want to get rid of that. Uh, Yarg, is it? Ooh, it's not. Okay, so if we do go for the throat for Yarg, we have four mana left. Let's do scheming first. That way we can also get that life gain that we need to offset the cost of Rasta's proliferation. Um, let's go ahead and throw out. Grab that extra life. If only we had poison counters on right now. At least now you can turn this commander into a treasure token. That's true. I have her armed and ready. Okay. Um. Next turn. Let's. Let's see. You know what? Let's just. For funsies, let's swing in with five. I was pretty sure they were not gonna block. But it would be nice to get them at a land disadvantage. I just realized they don't have any. Oh, they have a swamp in hand. They need seven more mana to recast Yarok. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're gonna play that swamp this turn. Next turn. Okay, thankfully it enters as a quickly they can oh. Question is, do I want to get rid of scheming? Spirit. Spirit? That's, I think that's how you say it. To bring out Cauldron Familiar? Granted, it would also give me the same life gain. I think the only downside is that the cat oven combo would prevent me from dealing damage to them. I will sacrifice scheming if they, no, they didn't decide to swing with my Triton. Oh, okay, I'll keep, I'll keep scheming out. Yeah, I definitely should have kept <laughs> that channel lands. Um, let's see. We could do Revenge of the Ravens, which is solid. Singing Hive Master. There is my Toxic. Why did I play that earlier? Okay, so let's do... Let's do this. Let's proliferate. Let's get Hive Master out. And then next turn... Knock on wood. Next turn, we'll be able to put a toxic counter on him. Finally. And let's just go ahead for... <laughs> for Hex and Giggles, let's put out Revenge of the Ravens. We'll go ahead and throw him out there. Unless he can counter him. That will that would hopefully deter them from using Myra Triton to swing. But now the question is, do I swing with Phyrexian Obliterator? I feel like if they didn't block that first time, I feel like they'd be hesitant to keep blocking. Let's see. I could also see them blocking with one of their Maya Triton and then sacrificing the other one. Offset how much they will end up having to sacrifice because I can imagine so few cards of hands. I, I feel like they would not want to sacrifice their lands. I feel like they would prioritize sacrificing their critters.
Well, that is an issue. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. My life. Create a 4 4 rhino. Or put a shield counter. I could see them going for destroying Revenge of the Ravens and then putting shield counter. Because both minor tritons have death touch. But putting a shield counter. The freaking. Oh, they get to choose it again because of Panharmonicon. I freaking. Dang it. Yeah, if I were them, I would put shield counters on both of the Myra Tritons. I feel like that would be, that would be like the perfect situation. So what I might do is I might just end up chunk blocking, but then using Witch's Oven to sacrifice one of my chunk blockers. If they're going to go for Vasca. Vario, happy Wednesday. Next time, swing before playing anything you're threatening. Vito giving life, which deals an extra five damage to them. That's true. That is true. Oh, you can turn the Titan into a treasure token, though. That's true. So that gets rid of a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample. Not a bad deal. Um, let's see. Death Touch, Toxic, minus 4, minus 4. So here's the thing. If I give this Meyer Titan with a shield counter, if I give that minus 4... Get rid of it, regardless of the shield counter, correct? I'm hoping that's the case, because if I can get rid of a death touch with a shield on it, for like this. Yes. Okay, perfect. Ooh, I'm gonna leave Pyrexian Obliterator as a last one now. Um, let's see. So would I? I guess if those four four rhinos weren't there, I could swing it with Stinging Hide Master. I guess for now, let's throw in a Death Touch one of my own. And might as well. Might as well, unless they have a board wipe, but I do know that they already have they already have a board wipe in their graveyard. So we shall see. So at this point, I'll sacrifice one of my critters. I can sacrifice Singing Hive Master, and I'd still get a Toxic Critter in return, though. So I am leaning towards that. Three, four, five, seven. We'll have two mana left over for a dual pri null priest of oblivion. But they won't be able to afford it for its kick loss. And they're not going to swing in with their rhinos because they can block with my obliterator. I could see them going from there. Oh, okay. Alright, I see you. I see you. Should I do cat oven? The thing, I don't know. Um, well what we can do is render Yarok useless. At least for one extra turn. So at this point. Oh, you know what? We can swing in with our Death Touch, Toxic Boy. Start the Cat Oven? Okay, we'll start it this turn. Oh! Never mind. I will not start it this turn. That's the thing, though. I don't know when I would start this combo. I need something that untaps. Something that untaps artifacts. That's what I need. <laughs> 